What up, man? It's your big brother, K-Wing. You know, check this out, man. Look, let me let me give this message to anybody who may look in the mirror and are uh, feeling like they are not good enough. What they see in the mirror is not good enough um, from a physical point of view. Look, man, you don't have to go out and try to alter your body. You don't have to go out and try to change things about your, your physical anatomy in order to um, be accepted or make yourself feel like now I, I look good. You already are perfect in the way that you were created. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear that. A lot of people say, oh, I see y'all say that. You can say that, but I know the difference when I go out. You know, I know how they look at this woman compared to how they look at me or don't look at me. And I want to look like that. And I want. And so now we've tied ourselves to um, an obligation to these societal standards that um, were created by somebody else. There's no flaws in your makeup. So the the thought process now is okay, man. I got I gotta go get my my breast done. My breasts ain't big enough. I gotta go get my butt done. I gotta go get a BBL so I can have that that round bubble butt. I gotta do this. I gotta do something to my face. You know, my nose too big, my lips too big, all these different things. And understand that we understand that a lot of those thoughts and feelings are rooted in things that may have taken place a long time ago. You know, you was in school and people was laughing at you talking about you had big bubble lips or something like that or you had a flat butt so they was calling you slap back and all these different things in school and um just just saying different things that may have in their mind we just joking and playing like young people do but not knowing that okay these things are really having an effect if a person hears something enough times even if it's a joke but that joke is specified. It's, it's one thing, you just playing around and cracking on somebody, y'all just playing around, but if that joke is seemingly seemingly specified at a particular area, then of course, you know, somebody always, somebody been talking about my nose for all my life, then you're gonna look in the mirror and, man, is there something wrong? Is there something really wrong with my nose? What's, why, what's wrong with my nose? And so so I, I get that, it, it, it has a psychological effect, but we cannot, overlook the creator's place in this whole thing. He didn't make a mistake on your nose. He didn't make a mistake on your body. And we have to embrace that. Now, uh, if there's something you want to change about yourself naturally, I mean, you know what? I want to I want to lose some of this weight. I want to get rid of this gut. I want to get rid of some of this fat. I want to pick up some weight. I want to develop some more muscle. I want to do things like that. Then that's fine because you are going through natural processes, through exercise, through training, through changing the diet, things of that nature to uh, to achieve a certain um, result physically and, and then from a visual standpoint. Um, that's cool. But when we get to the point where we become so uh, desperate to be viewed in, a, in that kind of way that we're willing to go under the knife now you're playing with your life because we've seen too many situations where uh, people have gone under the knife. People have went and got surgeries done uh, to so-called uh, to, to so-called correct or, or, or enhance what the Creator already gave you, and they laid on that table and never got up. Uh, we can name uh, numerous times where that happened. And I know that a lot of those times there were people in their life that probably told them, well, hey, well, baby girl, you good. I mean, I wouldn't change nothing about you. I'm, you know, if, if I'm, I'm fine with what I see, you know. Family members may have said it. Friends may have said, there's nothing wrong with you. You good, you good. But it's hard sometimes for people to see themselves um, through the lens that we may see them. So we understand that and we respect that, but we still have to do our best to make sure that uh, they understand it, to make people see themselves for who they really are. And um, 
a lot of times it could be family members. It could it could have started long before they even entered elementary school. You know, you have family members that will talk down on um, other family members and, and 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 try to bring down their self esteem and attack their looks and all that. And um, those are the those are the ones that hurt the most. Those are the ones that really really hurt the most because it's like, man, this is. This is my daddy telling me this. This is my mama telling me this. is my brothers and sisters. I grow up I'm around. Every day I got to hear this. I got to hear my brother telling me how ugly I am and, and all this, you know. And, and some people do it maliciously. Some people do it intentionally. Some people will actually recognize the beauty in you. They will know that you are beautiful, that you are um, just right. And they don't feel that self-esteem within themselves, so they'll try to flip that back on you to tell you, oh, you ain't all that, you don't look good, you this, you that, you that. Or they look at your clothes, look at that. They'll find something. And if we're not careful, we'll fall for it. And then once you get to a point where you may be financially able, or you may just be determined to work yourself up to being financially able, now you get out there and... You say, well, shh, I'm going to go get me a BBL. I'm going to go get me a nose job. I'm going to thin my nose out. I'm going to do something to my lips. I'm gonna, you ain't going to be able to say that about me no more. And we take something that was perfectly beautiful in its God-shaped form, in its God-given form, and then we destroy it. We destroy it and, and, and make it into something that um, shouldn't be. So, don't fall for that. Don't fall for people telling you this and telling you that. They can think what they want to think, but always know, okay, well, whatever you think about me, uh, my creator saw fit to make me like this. So any problems that you have with me, you take that up with him, but I'm not going to let you have me looking in the mirror, questioning and, and second-guessing because we live in this dangerous society, man, where, like I say, they're killing people on these tables, man. And if you, and if you don't die physically, then they're killing you um, socially because now what happens is it, 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 it works in reverse because now when you, I hate to say, when you destroy yourself, the people who saw you how you were, they are... They are horrified in a lot of situations. Or they, they they feel sorry. They feel sad that you did that. Like, man, man, she was good. Man, he was good. And then you still have those other ones who are going to mock and make and make mockery and ridicule and really go in. So you, you don't win either way. You don't win either way. So don't be so caught up in... Instagram and Facebook and all of these um, platforms that put these pictures out and then you may see one sister who okay she went and got her breast done she went and got her BBL done and oh that's how I want my eyes to look oh she looks good with hers or she did this and that but but later on you start to see man those things are collapsing those things are it's it's like they're just degrading and eroding over time and you know it starts off. You, so you don't you don't know what what they're putting in it, what the process is. You just don't know, man. You just don't know. So that's one of those situations where uh, having the access to do something, just because you have the ability to do something, don't mean you should do it. Just because you have the money and to to afford to be able to do something, doesn't mean you should do it. You know, but. That's part of um, uh, that's part of the power of that of that sickness, you know. And when I say sickness, don't think that I'm trying to say it in a in a in a disrespectful way. I don't mean it in a disrespectful way, but it is a sickness because it's something that is, that that's invading your mind to where you really are perceiving that type of move, a surgery like that, as being this is the answer, this is it. This is the solution. If there's something that you absolutely 
have to do, have to have to do that is a necessity. Like man, I gotta have surgery or this is going wrong. I had to go get a hip replacement, you know, because this might have happened and this might have happened. And I just couldn't, so I had to do that. That's different. I had to. Uh, have reconstructive surgery because I had a situation, I had an accident or something, you know, that's different. But don't get caught up in thinking that what you are right now and the way you look right now is not good enough. Don't get caught up in that, man, because it's absolutely good enough. And if it's not good enough for somebody that's around you in your circle, then they not good enough for you because that's another side of it. We have the people that will tell friends and loved ones and family, nah, man, you, you straight, you straight. You don't have to do none of that. You perfect. You don't see what I see. But you also have people that will try to encourage friends, family, loved ones, wives and stuff to do that type of stuff. Ah, uh, baby, you need to get you. Oh yeah, go on, go on, get your, go on, get your things done. Go on, yeah, you need, yeah, I, yeah, I, I'm, you need to do that. Yeah, you need to do that. If they not satisfied with with how you look, then send them on down the road. Send them on down the road. But don't make the mistake of um, doing something to yourself that even if you don't die on the table, because everybody don't die. That's that it, it happens, but it ain't every. It ain't like. 75% rate or nothing like that. But even if that doesn't happen to you, you still have to think down the line of what's going to happen as you get older, as your body starts to age and change and this artificial work is inside of you degrading or collapsing or popping or doing whatever it is it's doing or it's going to do over time. And then, well, I got to go back and get this redone and adjusted and fixed. And is it really worth it? Is it really worth it? All right, man, it's your big brother, K. We, you know, I hope this helps somebody out. Save that money. Save that money. Invest in a trainer. Start eating better. Even change your diet. I'll catch y'all later on, man. Peace.